Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now, we're going to do a comparison with the Mossberg MC2 Subcompact versus the Ruger Max 9. Both double stack 9mm handguns that are very nice concealed carry. The Mossberg on the left has a 3.4 inch barrel, the Max 9 has a 3.2 inch barrel. Let's start with the Mossberg. When they came out with this model, they made them optic ready, set to fit mini red dots, a 14 and a 10 round mag, or I'm sorry, 14 and 11 round mag, and a solid trigger, a flat face trigger that breaks right at five and a half pounds. And I will say, I like the trigger on the MC2 subcompact a little bit better. Three dot sights, it does have forward serrations, and a overall pretty nice package. When I took this to the range, I shot it very well. I hope to replicate that today. But I think Mossberg did a nice job. Now the disassemble is a little different. You take that back plate off on the slide, pull out the striker unit, and they call that a safe disassemble. But I like this 14 round mag. It offers three finger contact and it's a, a nice grip too. They didn't change that much from the original MC1. Let's go ahead and take a few shots here and see how it does. Not bad, not bad. The average price this is selling for is right around $500. The MSRP right around $560. So I think Mossberg has a very nice handgun. The grip feels great. I really like what they did with that trigger. But now we've got the Ruger Max 9, a bit smaller. Uh, the MSRP is a little more with this, like 579, but it's actually selling for a little less than the Mossberg. This has been around longer. That tends to happen right around 450 will get you the Max 9. I've got a sight mark, mini shot, red dot on here. But what the Max 9 offers, is a 12 round magazine and a 10 round mag. 10 round two finger contact. I like the 12 round magazine, not a great difference there. The trigger is measuring at about five pounds. The reset right there. Some people say that the Max 9 trigger is squishy. I don't find that to be the case, but everybody has a different opinion. Has a fiber optic tritium front sight, already mentioned three point two inch barrel. It is two ounces lighter. The Mossberg weighs 25 and a quarter ounces. This weighs 23 ounces, both with 12 rounds. So I wanted to keep that pretty consistent. But overall, the Max 9 has been a very fine handgun for me. I think Ruger fans were very excited. I was excited when they came out with this to go head to head with so many other manufacturers that are producing double stack nine millimeters. And the same can be said about the Mossberg MC2 subcompact. Let's go ahead and take a few shots here. I felt like I was cheating with the use of the red dot. And the, the, the truth is I could put this exact same red dot on the Mossberg. So here we've got the MC2 subcompact and the Ruger Max 9. Well, if I had to choose one, I like what Ruger did with the Max 9, especially that fiber optic tritium night sight. That is nice on the Max 9. I like the trigger better with the Mossberg. Both fine grip texturing, both have performed very well. I've got no issue with either. Neither has a rail or anything like that. I wouldn't attach anything on a subcompact nine millimeter handgun anyways. If I had to choose one, I'd go with the Ruger Max 9. I think it's a fine handgun. I still like this, so glad to have it. Eventually I'll put a red dot on there, but right now that's my choice. What I'm wondering is which one you would choose. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.